In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the best defense to defend the bunch tight end in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players that they can become. And if you want to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to know whenever we release new videos that can help you get better at this game. All right, guys, so in this video, we're talking specifically about my nickel 335 wide defensive guide. If you want to get my nickel 335 wide defense, the complete defensive guide to the best defense in Madden 21, then you can get it down below for just 15 bucks. We literally walk you step by step through how to stop some of the best offenses in the entire game. Now, to stop bunch tight end, where we're going to start is we're actually going to start uh, with our ball area defense on play, play ball. Our option defense is going to be conservative. Flats are going to be on 30, curl flats are going to be on 10, and hook curls are going to be on 10, just like this right here. This is my favorite way to play defense right now in Madden 21. I think it's the most effective, and it's just the most versatile. Now, the audibles we're going to set in our 3 through 5 wide is our cover 4 show 2 and our Mike Blitz 3. We're going to be showing you a defense today out of Mike Blitz 3 that's going to do a really good job against the bunch tight end. And what we're going to do um, is we're just simply going to uh, go ahead and audible down to Mike Blitz 3. We're going to shade our coverage down just like this. And then from that point, we're going to shift our defensive line to the right. The main reason we want to do this is so we can get this guy right here over the top. So we could put our user over here if we wanted to. We could also put our user over here. It's kind of up to you, honestly. But this is my preferred way to play this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put our linebackers in seam flats just like this, create that Mabel coverage. And then we're going to put our defensive end on the right side of the screen into a bluff blitz. Now, the biggest thing we have to be mindful of is a cover three bomb that can happen on this left side. So I want to show you what that bomb looks like, and then we're going to show you how to defend it. So basically from boot over, if I just streak both the square and the X receiver, you're going to see that the square receiver is going to burn me over the top. Now, the reason why I really like this defense against bunch tight end is because we can actually do a couple of things. The first thing that we can do is we can do an alignment trick that I like to do, which is basically just simply base align the defense. So against compressed sets, I really like to base align. I think that it helps the coverage a significant amount, especially with corner routes and crossing routes. So if you watch this same concept, you're going to see here that a base align is a lot tighter. Now, Little quick tip for you, if you're playing in mud and they're trying to do this route combination, I find I normally am fine with just this adjustment, meaning I, I can run this and I don't really need to do anything else um, because my players are so high overall right now in mud that just because their base line is going to help it. Like this is all we need to do right here. If we base align and press, or even if we don't, but if we base align and press right here, this I find. Okay, I find that this is enough to stop it. In regs, it's not. In regs, if you play regs, you're gonna see that if I get out of the pocket, you see the outside third stops, and I can burn cover three over the top. So, we like to do an additional adjustment specifically for regs. Um, it's very, very specific to regs, uh, but you can do this out of mutt too. And basically what we're going to do um, is we're going to take this, this linebacker right here, uh, Amos, well, you can do multiple different ways, actually. Um, we're going to, I'm trying to think of how I want to do this, actually. Let's do, hmm, we're, we're just going to deep half the corner, okay? We're just going to deep half the corner, and the reason why we're just going to do it that way is because this is going to stop the bomb on the right side. Now, I do want to talk to you about the, the issue that is going to arise as a result. So you see here, I can't throw that route. Now, the issue that is going to arise from this is we basically have kind of a, a little bit of a unique situation. So we have a couple of different options that we can do, but ideally we're going to do it like this right here. So for this specific defense, if we deep half this outside guy, if we were to base align and press out of this, I just want to show you what this looks like. So if I base align and press here, you're going to see that I have a little bit of a step on the corner, but not enough of a step to make a massive difference. So I can base align this defense. One of the other things that we know about base align defenses in particular is if you're running deep half zones, it's actually better for them to be off 
off coverage. So if I put both corners in deep halves, I'm not going to get bombed, but I just need to be aware of you know what I'm kind of getting myself into, which is um, the ability for this route right here to be thrown. So I'll show you. So they might go to a play like this, and you'll see that this route has a lot of success. So you might be asking, well, how do you stop both, right? Aren't they just going to run the corner route on you every single time? Well, that's where I like to base align and press in particular, okay? So if you base align and you press and you have uh, that combination that I was talking to you about just a moment ago, then your defense is going to look basically like this. And with the snap of the ball, if we go to that uh, mesh concept, because he's already outside leverage, it does deter them from throwing this. But as you see, he kind of bites down on the route a little bit better. So that's a, another adjustment that you can do. The last little uh, tip that I have for you is a specific, it's a very specific adjustment. But it's basically to take both of the safeties and put them on deep halves. And then we're going to put our corners on the outside on cloud flats, just like this right here. And then we're going to take that slot corner and we're going to man him up on the square receiver. So if a triangle goes vertical or circle goes vertical, we have to be mindful of that. But this is a really, really, really good defense for any kind of like PA boot over. It's very safe, actually. Um, you're gonna find this does a really good job against that motion out, uh, motion out mesh type of concept that they're throwing from Bunch. This specific thing will really do a good job. You'll see we've got bracketed coverage. We've got five people there, four or five people in the vicinity able to stop this route. So if they're running a lot of this type of corner route, this is another option. Uh, real quick, I did want to touch on just one other thing. So if you leave this outside third, right there on the left side, if you leave that outside third, and maybe you, let's say you take, um, let's say you take the middle third right here, and we're gonna put him into a inside quarter, and then we're gonna basically play a deep half, something like this right here, right? This is your adjustments. This won't get bombed out of a cover three. So if you take a look here, this cover three beater won't beat it because we've inside quartered that left side guy. Um, they're now not gonna be able to beat it on either side. So that's another little adjustment that you can do. And then one last thing I did wanna show you though, and that's gonna do a lot better against that, um, that mesh corner because this is what I wanted to show you. If you leave this base aligned, and you press it, and they run this motion over, uh, motion out corner route here to the square. You see that you're gonna, they're gonna break on the ball. Now they're not gonna necessarily stop it, but they're gonna be in the area to stop it. Uh, one last little setup that you can use out of Mike Blitz Three. If you want to shift your defense this direction, okay, you can do this. Um, the big problem is your three red hook is still gonna have to come from the opposite side of the field. So you can do this defense right here, and this is actually fairly successful. Um, and what you can do is with that additional zone that you have on the field, uh, which would be, let me show you what I mean. So we could do that with a three rec. And then what we could do, um, if we wanted to stop the quick flat style of route, is we could do a seam flat, and then we could still run that man-to-man -man coverage. So this is where we don't have anything necessarily deep. And the problem with this is like a traditional flood to the left. It's not always gonna beat it, but it's the best chance. You see something like that right there does have an opportunity to be successful uh, for the defense. And so if we wanted to really uh, take away the corner route on the left side, we might wanna shift into our cover four drop defense or something like that. But by moving these guys over, it does give you a plus one advantage. So you could basically, you know, have this look right here. And then if you don't want to leave the three rec, let's, let's say for example, you want to use her that, right? Then you can just man that guy up with the linebacker. As you can see right there, we just man him up with the linebacker. And then if they motion out, uh, and again, you would want to be base aligned to, the, to do this because you want to make sure that your zones are, are doing what they need to do. Now we don't have to worry about a cover three bomb. We don't have to worry about any of that. The, the cover three can be left as is. And then what you're going to see is that this route to the corner um, is not going to be as open. You're going to have, you see on the cut, they don't really have a window to be able to throw the ball. I mean, right there he caught it, but you see we have coverage there. So this, in my opinion, is the best way to shut down um, this. We didn't even talk about PA boot over a ton because I've talked about this a lot on this channel. But basically, if they run PA boot over and you have this, um, 
you have this three red cook zone, whether it be from the right or the left, it's really irrelevant. So like right here, you see I've got it from the right. And if I roll out and try to throw this, the three red cook will drift right into the middle of the field on the rollout. And you see it's right in the vicinity of where they're gonna throw the ball. So that to me is the best way to stop it. Thanks for watching the video. If you wanna get the best defense in the entire game completely broken down, you can get my nickel 335 wide defensive guide in the description for just 15 bucks. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.